that's a buoy. Um, that means good morning to which you reply, Missouri. Um, which it's kind of just a polite reply to pretty much everything here. Um, it is 19th of January, 8.10am, so day 9. I have been for my run and um, people are getting used to me running, I think. I still get the usual honks of the horn, but I get that in Australia, so hey, um, people kind of just let me go past now and don't say much, especially in their local area, they're used to it. But that's good, come back. Um, I'm kind of supplying my own breakfast <laughs> because it amazes me what they are. Uh, eat for breakfast. They, it amazes me how many different ways they can find to make dough and fry it. Um, there is mahamri, which is quite delicious, but it's um, a little triangle of fried, that one's made out of wheat flour and sugar. Um, there is half cake, which is like a very dense mahamri, but in a square, usually. It can come in different things. There's bajia, which is um, fried dough, but it's not sweet at all, so that one's just literally just fried dough, fried the little balls of dough. Um, there's mandazi, which is big mahamri, like this big, and there's like a million other things, and like this morning, like it's either we have one of those, or we have a uh, bread, but if you think that the bread in Australia, the white bread is death bread, then like this, like the first ingredient is wheat flour, the second ingredient is sugar. Um, I looked at all the ingredients, it's sweet flour, sugar, vegetable fat, and that's about it, other than that there's a couple of preservatives, and that's the entire recipe for this bread. Um, so it's very sweet, it tastes like a cake. Um, I've tried one piece, can't go back there. Um, so, so much, I sort of came here going, let's eat like a little Kenyan, and can't do it. Like, the amount of fried dough and wheat and bread, and, ugh, makes me feel a bit... So, about I'm having some of the local produce and boiled eggs because they're easy to buy. Boiled eggs is massive here, which is good. Um, but yeah, so it's funny because like their diet is like the opposite to a low carb diet, complete opposite. Um, like breakfast is usually one of the cake sort of things or bread or sometimes they may have boiled eggs or an omelette but omelettes aren't common in this area um, in the rest of Kenya pancakes are very common some people may have sausages but not families like this um, they don't really have morning tea and then lunch is like imagine two fists serve size of ugali which is essentially bread um, but just made out of maize and, and water like one fifth serving size of cabbage and half a fist of some sort of beans or meat. Like not much at all. Um, so when I walk into a restaurant and I order like three serves of just the meat, no ugali, and one serve of cabbage, they look at me like I'm crazy, but hey, they usually give it to me because I'm a Muslim woman and I'm white, so they just think I'm weird. But yeah, so that's lunch and then dinner is like double the serve again of rice or like I'm talking two whole cooked cups of rice each around about like the plate is piled and um to be fair last night we had maharagwe which was delicious it's rice and beans and it was delicious and i had my serving and i was very happy but then mama cecilia came in and um she's decided i don't eat enough <laughs> and so she piled my plate up again and me being me it's the first time she's done it i said the first time I'm always going to eat it, like I, I, I polished it off because I really want her to know that I enjoy her food and I appreciate her food and I appreciate her cooking for me because it is it's really good food, she's a really good cook. But oh my god, I was so full. <laughs> yeah, they, they, their dinners, like their breakfasts are quite small and their dinners are huge and I like doing the opposite, so um, it's kind of still getting used to that, but hey, we're getting there. Um, but yeah, I've tried so many, oh, and I, yesterday I tried this, uh, I've still got to ask the name of it, but it was literally like a rice cake, like, but sweet. So imagine rice pudding, but turned into a cake, like gelatinous cake. It was really good, actually, but interesting. Um, other than that, I tried karanga, 
and octopus is now my favorite street food here but it's not very common in Shanzu so you've got to kind of anytime one of the little ladies they sit out in the street they literally just sit in the street and they have a table and a candle at night and they have fish around the candle and usually it's pretty cold fish by the time I buy it but oh well um, and it's delicious but every now and again one of them will have some octopus tentacles and oh my god every time I'm just gonna buy I like buy them out of octopus I just buy all of it um, which is expensive for this area but really cheap compared to home so it's good so it's now my favorite street food um, but yeah and, oh, and then there's other people that here in this area that sell chicken but like I went into town yesterday and I saw um, saw the outside of Fort Jesus I saw a lighthouse I saw the tusks I saw Marchetti which is one of the markets there and um, pancakes are much bigger there and some of the other cakes and things are, are different um, like you don't find pancakes in Shanzu, you just don't, but in town they're everywhere. Um, and then, yeah, so I, I got to walk around town, that was really cool with Michael. And um, yeah, it's been, that was yesterday, and dinner last night with my Harakwe. And I've decided I'm just going to try a different food every single day to try and make sure I get through everything. But um, yeah, life's good. Off to the methadone clinic. About to head off to the methadone clinic. And that should be good. And then this afternoon I'm going to visit a um, girl guides shop um, for the disabled. So it's, it's disabled people in the area and, um, make things out of wood and you can like watch them make it and then go buy it. And it's really cool. So I'm going to visit there. And um, yeah, other than that, life in Kenya. Settling in and getting used to things. But Eating like a canyon ain't happening. <laughs> I need my snacks and I need my fruit and veg. To be fair, they eat a lot, they eat a fair amount of veg. Not much fruit in this house at least, but um, they sell lots of fruit in the area, so it's all good. Um, and the fruit is so delicious and fresh. So, but no berries. Sad. I've replaced berries with tomatoes. Because the tomatoes here are good, and I eat them like apples. But you know. Anyways, I'm gonna be late. Well. There's no such thing as late in Africa, ever. Like, you can rock up. No one cares. You can rock up two hours late and people wouldn't bat an eyelid. But for me, I'm going to feel it. So, it's time to go to the methadone clinic. Meet more. I want to say drug addicts, but and they are, they're addicts, but they're, they're still, like, they have a story and they're beautiful people still. So, it's good to hear their story and learn from them. So, it's nice. But until later, bye-bye.